Alright guys, um, this is video number five, and um, as you can see I've got the first string, the daylight LEDs wired up, and they're fastened on to the uh, heat sinks. And I'm actually all set up in test mode right now. I got my variable DC power supply, and um, I soldered everything up here. Um, I got everything wired into the breadboard. Um, just for the test phase, and I've opened up the driver just to... Um, um, play it safe you know make sure the driver was putting out correctly and um, it is of course um, and I've got this wired up this generic AC plug it's just kinda loosely set up just for the initial test um, and uh, I've got the driver turned up all the way and my um, meter is in series with the LEDs so I can get an accurate amp reading. I hit the light here. See I got zero there. And I got zero volts. I'm going to start turning this up. So we're down to approximately three volts. And we're pulling about four and a half four and three quarter amps or um, point four and three quarter amp and I've got uh, my DC power supply is not very stable for some reason something's wrong with it and it kind of um, the voltage is kind of jumpy a little bit but uh, nonetheless I get my zero to ten volts there but this is basically three volts to the driver on the dimming side and it's drawing approximately uh, we're up to about 0 0.5 about half an amp across all eight so now we'll uh, bump it up to a little bit more here let's turn off Let's do about an uh, amp, about double the power now. So, you're not going to be able to tell the difference on this video because of the automatic weight balancing on my phone, but um, these things are damn bright, man. These are the XMLs, and that's... Um, this is running at one amp, approximately one amp, right there, and um, they're capable of handling three. So let's go more. And turn it up another little bit here. Let's go up another half amp. Okay, so now we're up a half an amp from that, and we're pushing, um, I guess, about three times the light from when we first started at half an amp. Now, these can handle double what we got right now, and I got to kind of get back to... I mean, I'm 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 on the edge. I'm not even. I mean, these are so damn bright. I can't even look at them. And uh, my camera automatically adjusts to um, block out the light because they're so damn bright. But uh, I'll go up to. Um, 
I'm just checking here. My heat sink is holding up good. No heat. Grounded good. Oh, um, before I go any further, I wanted to point out here how I fasten my LEDs down. Um, I take, like right here, I got, let me get one out here a minute. I got a royal blue right here, but nonetheless, they're the same. So I take this, and what I do is I put one drop of my thermal grease. A decent drop right there, right in the middle. And then I take two drips of this, two little tiny specks on the top and the bottom of the actual star and then what I do is I flip it over and then I adjust it where it's gonna go pretend this is the heat sink and then I push it down adjust it and then I go in circle like that just a little bit and then what it does is it'll dry and it'll stick on there and you've got thermal compound and then a little bit of glue just a little bit to keep it there and what happens is um It'll keep it on the heat sink, and you won't have to worry about unscrewing or drilled and tapped. I mean, drilled and tapped is the best way to go um, when it comes to the heat sinks. But these, uh, if not a lot of people have that luxury, like I didn't, and um, and thermal adhesive can be really hard to you know remove. But this is easy to remove, and you know, I'll just use a razor blade, and then that glue is really strong, so it's not like they're gonna go anywhere. So those are still on, and then that's just a little tip there. I um, learned that when I was working on a computer, and I had to put a heat sink on a chip, and there wasn't a lot of room to put it, so I had to put a, a spring to keep it on there. So I had to glue it on. That was it worked really good. But anyways, um, I'll go up all the way with them. So now, we're pulling about two and a half, two, uh, two point four amps. And this is all that driver can do, basically, right there. And this is unbearably bright, guys. This is crazy. Unbearable. I mean, they're they're blinding bright. But uh, oh, we're up to two and a half now. But they can handle up to three. You know, they can handle another half an amp here. But uh. This is just the first dry test here. It's all just raw, laid out, you know. And now that I've done this, I'm going to let it run a little bit. And then I'm going to check the heat sink, see how much they're heating up the heat sink, and determine then whether I'm going to need fans or not. Um, hopefully I won't. But uh, anyways, stay tuned for video number six. And I'll get that going. Um later on down the road probably after I get the blues in my dimmer module all set up which is right here and uh, get a little further with the case and everything I haven't even begun that yet so anyways us uh, yeah stay tuned for video number six bye